Today we're going inside this top secret backstage area and we're meeting the grand mater of street dance, Roshka from France. It's like plunging into hip-hop Emerald City with hyper-intense colors and music from the underworld. Ooh, evidently this is where they do the battle and tear each other apart on stage. <laughs> Out of the haze, onto the street. This is it. This is about to be the baddest moment of my professional career. Bonjour, Roshka. Hey. Salut. Ça Bonjour. va? Yes. Teach me. The easiest move. I would say, let's start with the crisscross. Yeah. So basically, strong on your feet, and uh, you're gonna uh -huh. jump and cross. Jump and cross. Come back. And come back. BPM. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. And watch your attitude. You need to look cool. Take it easy. Now lights out and put it to the test. Seven, and one, two, again, three, four, again, five, six, again, seven, and one, two, three, four, yes, five, six, and seven. Woo! Given my level of physicality, my moves looked less like hip hop. More like hopscotch. Seven, eight. Ah, oh, yeah. But after. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. But after today, one understands that street dance can be as friendly to a beginner as any other dance. With breaking entering the Olympics starting at the 2024 Paris Games, the image of street dancing is slowly shifting in China from a subculture to a sport that takes an equal amount of skill and precision as diving and gymnastics, and a form of art that transcends barriers like music. The real sense for me of the hip hop culture yeah, it's the fact to communicate with someone who don't speak your language, but who don't share your same opinion as you. I would say that was the way to, you know, share with people and to reunite people. A way to talk without fighting, without screaming, without, you know, arguments. I learned popping when I started dancing. I had a teacher. It's not like now, where everybody knows it. Back then, dancers faced a bit of criticism. People thought street dance was for the bad kids, but now people understand it as a positive dynamic form of dance that builds confidence. And now one contestant, Yang Kai, has just been named coach for Sichuan's provincial breaking team. The dancers started training two months ago, and they're on eating and practice schedules just like athletes. All of a sudden, they went from street to professional sportsmanship. With breaking becoming an Olympic event, dancers can achieve the same physical extremes like any other sport. This season of Street Dance of China encourages creative renditions of street dances that aren't just a pile of techniques. Check out MT Pop's routine inspired by extraterrestrial monsters and Ma Xiaolong's pieces based on Chinese chess and the Gu Qing. In my mind, Chinese-style street dance is not simply dancing to a Chinese song or wearing Chinese costumes. The routine needs to be based on street dance techniques like isolation, slow-mo, body control. And it needs to grab the essence that is in Chinese culture and aesthetics, and not just have the look of it. Like gymnastic floor routines and artistic swimming. Who knows, maybe one day you'll see street dance pieces inspired by Journey to the West or Mulan at the Olympics. Suzy T, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.